When I got this lens, the focus ring was gummed up. Yeah, this wouldn't turn at all. So you couldn't focus the lens, which makes it quite useless. Now it was because all the old grease had dried up in it. And yeah, I had to op open it up and clean it out. Now, I've already done that. But it was only after I'd finished that I thought, maybe I should make a video on this in case anyone else needs help with doing that. So, that's what I'm going to do. Now, you'll need a few tools. A screwdriver to remove screws. Some, yeah, Julia's screwdriver. This one's got inter interchangeable tips, which is very handy, but any sort of screwdriver, small screwdriver set would be good. And a spanner wrench, a lens spanner wrench. This helps you unscrew ri yeah, the rings with the notches in them. Now, the first thing to remove is this ring, this focus ring. You just use a screwdriver to remove the small grub screws, three grub screws. Oh, first though, you need to make sure that it's focused in infinity. That's very important. So you unscrew them. I've unscrewed all but one. But th these, someone has broken half the heads of each one. Half the head has been broken off on each one, so... They must have been stiff at some point, but I didn't have any problem getting them out, even though they are damaged. Anyway, now that you've done that, what you would do is you'd make a mark with your screwdriver right at infinity. You would make a scratch. Now, I don't need... I was very lucky. I didn't do that, but someone else already has. So someone has serviced this in the past. Or maybe in the factory they did that, but... You always want to do that so that you can align it when you put it back together again. Otherwise, you'll have to put it in the camera if it's a reflex camera. This is for a reflex camera, but if it was for a, a range find or some other, you know, other camera that didn't look through the lens, you'd have to find... Yeah, there, there are other ways you can do that, but it's much easier to just have a mark to line everything up. So that's very important. Now, now I can easily unscrew this, but when it was all gummed up, this would not turn at all. So, I had this down here, and I gripped this out at the outer body of it, and fit this, well, these slots, you can remove this back lens in, which I would recommend doing, if you're going, you know, if you're doing that, just need, so if in case you slip, or, well, if you slip, you'll damage something either way, but you don't want to scratch the glass, so having that out means the glass isn't, you know, isn't vulnerable, and especially when you're cleaning it as well, you just have the aperture blades there instead, so you have them like that. And then when this glass is is removed, which is quite simple to do, I'll do it now. So you just have to make, line up the slots there. So now you've loosened it. Just do it by hand if you can. Much safer than using the tool where you can slip. So I recommend removing this, this back lens, back optic, when you're cleaning it, so that you don't don't touch it too much and you don't you don't risk damaging it, because you've just got the aperture blades, which is safer. And you can remove the front. I did do that, but it was unnecessary. I wouldn't bother. I put it back in. It's too too fiddly and it's quite yeah, and you you risk slipping and scratching the lens. And damaging the coating as well, so you don't want to do that. So yeah, what I did, well, I had to use the points because these did not fit. It depends on your tool. You could grind down the tool. That would be better if it was a very special lens or something. But this was one on a camera that I bought, and I wanted to get it working, but I did not want. I don't want to have to go to the trouble of grinding down the tool. So adjust it so that it. It's, this thing is not very good, very wobbly. And then you would just unscrew it. Now, I don't need to do that because I've already cleaned it, but that's how I did it. Gripping this and turning it, it was very, very stiff from that grease. So I turned it, yeah, turned it from the front. And then this all comes out. So, once I'd done that, I needed to take, the, I took this outside and I used a degreaser to clean out because I, I tried I tried rubbing alcohol, which is isopropyl alcohol, and I tried methylated spirits, but it wasn't doing a very good job. When I put it back in, it was still stiff. So what I did was get, you got the degreaser, you just use a toothbrush to brush it in on both, yeah, you know, both, and then wiped it off with a cloth. And after a few, yeah, after a few goes of that, it's perfect, works nicely. 
So for the grease, I used a lithium grease, just a standard lithium grease. Yeah, just it just needs to be smooth enough to not gum it up too much. Although it depends on whether you want it to be a stiffer or smoother focusing. Yeah. So you just put a few little blobs around, just enough to make sure it's lubricated. You don't want too much, because then it'll be too stiff, and that, that was the problem we're trying to fix. And then you need to just thread it back in. Now you can see, you might see the mark. I don't know if you can. There's a mark on there. No, it's not going to focus. Anyway, there's a mark on there for where infinity is. Now that's not important yet. First you need to get it threaded in there, and you screw it down, but you do need, yeah, remember where that is, you can, I can just see it there, and you screw it down to where it was before, and it was just sticking up, this is just sticking out the back of the lens, and the mark is right there, so just line it up, and now get the focus ring, and line up inf the infinity mark here with the line and make sure that yeah, those there, that's all lined up and then you screw in the screws yeah they don't screw in very, pro very well so that's one screw in and then I put the, in, well, put the rest now that I got the screws in now I have to screw in the back element so just make sure that's clean, yeah. Yep. Screw it in by hand first. It's much faster and much easier than fiddling around with the tool. The tool is just to make sure it's tight enough. Get it all right. There we go. There, now it's all back together. And now what you want to do is put on a camera and make sure it all focuses right. Because it's a reflex camera, that should be quite simple. Right, hopefully that's helpful. Thank you for watching.